Okay, here we are reviewing the trade first subtraction method. A couple things before we dive into subtracting out. Um, when you write out your problem, make sure you put in a line in between your place values, between your tens and your ones, and you can do that later on with your hundreds. Uh, so just draw a line in between your places, and then also do a ballpark estimate. Um, here I have 84. That 4 isn't enough to push it uh, up, so I'm going to round down to 80. And 37 here, that 7 is enough, it is past 5, to push it up to 40. Um, so 80 take away 40 gives me 40, so my answer should be close to 40. Now you'll notice when I want to start taking things away, I have 7 ones I want to take away from 4 ones, and I'm showing that here 84 in base 10 blocks, and I can't take away 7 from just 4 blocks, so I actually have to trade out. So let me get rid of this block here, and because that's worth 10, I'm going to put in 10 cubes here. And to show that on paper, because I took away one of my sticks, one of my tens, I have seven tens left, seven sticks. But check it out. I've added five or ten cubes, ten ones, and if I counted them all, that'd give me 14. And to show it on paper, I'd put a one above the four, showing I have 14 ones now. And now I can start taking away. So let me start taking away seven cubes here, seven ones, and there's my seventh. And now I can also show it on paper here because 14 take away seven would give me seven. Both my base 10 and my numbers are equal. But I'm not done, I need to subtract my 10. So I have seven tens here. I'm gonna take away three tens. And I can also show that on the paper. Seven tens take away three tens gives me four tens. And it also shows on my base 10 blocks, 47. And it's close to my ballpark estimate, so I know my answer is correct. Or probably correct. <laughs> yeah. So um, now we can also do this with three digit problems. Um, remember what I've said? Make sure you draw your lines in between your place values um, and do a ballpark estimate. Now, since I'm working with hundreds, let me just round to hundreds. Uh, the 356, that 50 is at 5 or past 5 and so now I can round that to 400. The 200 here, the 15 is below 50 so I would keep that, I'd round that down to 200. 400 take away 200, that would give me 200. Let me delete this block here so we can see this clearly. Now the nice thing with this one, I don't really need to do any trading at all because all my top numbers are bigger than the bottom numbers. I have six ones bigger than five ones, five tens bigger than one ten, three hundreds bigger than two hundreds. So now I can just start taking away. So I'm going to start by taking away five ones, five cubes there. I'm left with one. I'm going to take away one ten, take away there, and I'm going to take away two hundreds. So I should be left with one hundred and forty-one. Let me double check using my paper down here. Six take away five is one. Five tens take away one ten is four tens. And three hundreds take away two hundreds is one hundred. One hundred forty-one close to two hundred. So, last one that we're going to review is um, where I have to do some trading with three-digit problems. And so, once again, I've remembered my lines right here, and I'm going to do a ballpark estimate. Now, here's the tricky thing. I could round this to hundreds, uh, except for this would round down to 200 because it's not quite at 50. And this would round up to 200 because this is past 50, 150, rounds up to 200. And if I took 200, take away 200, I'd get zero. But let me use numbers that are pretty easy to subtract, and I recognize them. This is pretty close to 250, so I could put that down. And this is pretty close to 150, so 150, t oh sorry, 250 take away 150 is a lot easier than you know rounding this to 240, rounding this to 160 if I were to round it my tens. Um, so my answer is going to be close, to, or my estimate is 100, so my answer should be close to 100. So I've shown 243 in base 10 blocks here, and I'm going to start taking away, but you'll notice that there's a couple um, trading 
things that I need to do first because I only have three ones and I want to take away eight. So let me trade out that one ten stick there. I want to put in ten cubes. Put that up here. And I can show that on paper by saying, hey, I took one of those ten sticks, leaving me with three tens. And since I added ten cubes, ten ones, that gives me thirteen total ones. Okay. But now, because I have to, I have to continue trading because I want to take five tens away from. Well, I only have three tens here, so I need to trade out. And I'm going to take out this hundred here, and I want to trade it for ten sticks. That would equal ten tens. That give me a hundred. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's ten more sticks. So let's count how many total sticks we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have thirteen sticks. So I'm going to put a one next to that three to make thirteen sticks. But remember where you pulled those extra ten sticks? You got it from the hundred, it was leaving you up here with just one hundred. Okay. So I've done all my trading. All my top numbers are bigger than my bottom numbers, and now I can start subtracting out. And I also show in my sticks um, that I have um, an answer, but I need to start taking things away. So 13, take away 8. So let's take that 6, take away 2 more I should need. There we go. So that should leave me with 5, and if I subtract this out right here, 13 take away 8 would give me 5. And now, I have 13 tens here, 13 sticks, and I'm going to take away 5 of them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so that leaves me with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sticks. 8 tens, so 13 take away 5 would give me 8. 13 tens take away 5 tens gives me 8 tens. And then the last thing I need to do is take away 100, leaving me with 0 hundreds. And I can show that down here. I can leave it blank, but if I want to, I could put a 0. And so my answer is 85, close to my estimate of 85. Also remember to use your math reference book. Page, let's see here. Let's pull up the page, see what that looks like. Here we go. Looks like page 60 and page 61 in your math reference book also shows other examples that you can use for the trade first method. Um, so be sure to use those as well. Um, review any problems you need to. Call Mr. Pro over if he can help out.